Good morning, Mr. Kareem. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kareem. Good morning. Just look at him. But of course, he married the daughter of the rich family. Later. Hello, Kareem. Anna. What do you want? Where were you? Why do you ask? Why do I ask? Was Ken there? How dare you ask me that? Anna, listen, I know I hurt you. But there's no other way. Please don't do this. There are things I need I to say. I can't listen to your lies anymore, Kareem. We're done. What lies do you mean? I never lied to you. Don't call me again, Kareem. Anna. me crazy. You've been gone since last night without calling me. I'm sorry. I couldn't call you. You're sorry, Anna? You can't keep on doing this to me. And so, how was your evening? It was okay. I'm curious. Tell me something, Anna. Tell you about what, Mom? How was it with that boy, huh? Kareem, huh? Okay. Anna, don't play games. Not Kareem. Weren't you at Ken Varel's family house last night having dinner? What do you want to know? How are things with Ken? Are you serious? Will you see him again? Where are you going? Mom, can you get out of my room? I'm running late for work already as it is. You're driving me crazy, Anna. You said you were going to Ken Burrell's house last night and you didn't. So can I ask where you've been all night? Sure. Ask me. All right. So how was it? What's their house like? Is it big? How did his mother treat you? Don't tell me Kareem was there too. That'd be bad. That's all you want to know about, isn't it? You don't seem to even care whether something bad happened to me or not. <laughs> Here you are standing safe and sound before me. Besides, I knew nothing was going to happen. Kareem. Oh, maybe it's Ken? That wasn't Ken on the phone. I'm just friends with him. And that's how it will be. Nothing else happened. I'm going to the bathroom. Don't follow me. Hello? Anna, it's me, Kareem. So you've resorted to calling me from an unknown number when I don't answer my cell? What do you mean? We need to talk. But I don't want to talk to you. Anna, listen to me now, please. What will I listen to? Will I listen to you lying again? Weren't you going to confess? You can't confess. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to give up that life. Don't call me again. Anna, just listen to me, please. Mr. Kareem, I brought you the fabric samples. Okay, put them down. <sighs> Thank you very much. Hello? Anna? Are you leaving, Mr. Cream, sir? I am. And what should I say to Miss Natalia? So he didn't confess, Anna? No, he didn't. He won't be able to. He won't be able to leave this rich life. Anna, don't get angry. Maybe he really pities the woman. 
It can't be easy to tell a dying woman that you've deceived her. Melissa, I'm dying of a broken heart. I really am. I hate what I see in his face when he's looking at Celine. And what do you see in his face, then? It's love. Don't be silly, girl. Melissa, I'm telling you, it's love. Miss Anna, how long do I have to wait for you? I'm sorry, I'm coming right away. The rich don't like to wait. I'll see you. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Oh, Anna. Stop! No, I won't. So then Oren called you that night? That's right. But he didn't talk. Then I went home to my mom crying. The scumbag had smashed it all. He even threw the TV out the window. I was going to talk to Celine, but then Oren called and... Go and ask my mom if you don't believe me. Or let me call her for you. It's okay. I believe you. You paid him back, so what does he want? I wish I knew. He's a lunatic. I don't understand it at all. Kareem, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I did try to tell you. But you didn't listen. Ah, oh, well, you lied to me so many times before. No, I never lied to you. I just couldn't tell you the whole entire truth. Isn't that lying too, though? I don't know. I couldn't tell. I couldn't. I just couldn't. What will happen now? Will you hide stuff from me again? Never. I won't hide anything from you. I promise you. This is your last chance, Kareem. Will you talk to Celine? I will. You promise me? Anna, I said I'd talk to her. Don't pressure me. These things are not so easy to have to tell her. I know that. It's hard to tell a dying woman anything. For sure. I love you. And only you. Just know this. Uh. Shh. The door's locked. But someone might come in here. We'd better leave. But I can't get enough of you. 